In a world where systemic barriers and societal prejudices often seek to diminish our worth, we, as black people, must confront an insidious form of division that takes root within our own communities. This division, born from centuries of oppression, manifests as an internal struggle where we sometimes look down on our own brothers and sisters based on superficial markers of success or education. This sense of superiority, often disguised under the veil of progress, is nothing more than manicured ignorance. Conditioned to believe that proximity to whiteness or the trappings of material wealth equate to true equality, the belief that some of us are inherently better because of um, our education or social standing only perpetuates the very divisions historically used to oppress us. The harsh reality is that our perceived superiority is a facade carefully crafted by a society that has long sought to keep us divided. Some of us have been tailored to believe that shopping at the mall or attending college places us on an equal footing with those who have historically oppressed us. It is a bitter illusion to think that our education or social status makes us better than our own brothers and sisters. In this video, Bobby Hemet talks about this. Number one, what is education? But see, this is where, we, this, this is where you got to where you got really last over because we the first people to talk about we educated and look down on other people. So now, goddamn it, it's time for education. So you can't bump your gums about, oh, I know what the hell I'm talking about, and you ain't talking about scholarship, and it ain't no matter of it. It's, it's not that I'm down on, you know, looking down at you, but I know we that kind of people. We are uppity damn people when we think we got some shit. That's right. Yeah. You're the first person to say, I am different than that nigga with that liquor bottle. Well, goddamn it, prove it. <laughs> He's ignorant and you ignorant. You just mad at you and ignorant. You just know how to buy a brand new suit the right way. Instead of you buy, him buying some damn white shoes, you know how to buy the brown ones. With the gold buckle. That's not education, that's manicuring. So the practice say, I have to tailor a that can coincide so he don't look so much like a dichotomy. You see what I'm saying? We can't have people running around like the Huckleberry Finn and his slave with no shoes on and some old raggedy pants on, old lawdy, muck dancing. We got a tailor, a dog on so he can coincide, so we can fool him and tell him, you are equal. You know are equal because you know how to go out to the mall <laughs> and come out without the green weave. We need to deal with this because this is what's killing us. Now we talking education here now. Now I'm from a family of educated people. My mama a school teacher, my grandma a school teacher, my uncle's a school teacher, my aunt's a school teacher. And before them, they had 18, my grand great grandmama had 18 children. And sent all them to college. And I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck is education. Now if anybody can come up and tell me right now that you are superior by going to college, other than learning how to dog on eat with a teaspoon other than a tablespoon, you need to come on and say something, otherwise somebody ain't fucking us in the behind with this crazy stuff. That's right. Because we ain't humble enough to see the light. And that's the problem here. We're making it. We're making it. <coughs> Number two, what is the criteria of the quality of our lives? We dying with this kind of foolishness. Because somebody done told you you somebody. Well, he, well, if I go to fuck, well, I come up and tell me I'm somebody and tell him to educate me on my origin or what makes me somebody. You understand what I'm saying? Not because I know how to buy a brand new car. That's consumerism. That's, it, that's consumerism. Because I often thought about it. What is the ultimate? So you say you got your education. What is the ultimate? What are you looking for? Just to go out and buy some shit. We have to probe into the deepest recesses of our mind and we got to understand what makes us the people that we say everything is all right, because it's not. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I'm not talking down to you. We're not, this is, I'm not talking to you as a result. Don't get me wrong, nobody in this room should feel offended. We're talking to the people on the TV land that's watching this and go, mm, damn, I thought I was something out here. You understand what I'm saying? I thought I was something out here because I, I, um, I know how to put a down payment on a damn house. So what I'm trying to say here is, what is the criteria of the quality of our lives? Is it consumerism? Is it consumerism? 
What is the criteria? You understand what I'm coming from? So my point here is when you look at it, it's all an illusion. But that is the one thing that's going to make us slaves now. Well, we don't have to really worry about that. We, we're pretty much in the clear on this one. You know what I'm saying? Because when the laws get tough, we just go, oh well. <laughs> that's just the way it is. In the end, the ultimate goal of education should not be consumerism, where the pursuit of material wealth and status becomes the measure of our worth. True education transcends these superficial trappings, reaching into the core of our being to awaken a deeper understanding of ourselves. The real power of education lies in its ability to liberate us from the chains of ignorance, to inspire us to build bridges where there were once walls. Education is about shining a light into the darkness within us, the darkness created by ignorance and societal conditioning. It is about illuminating our minds and hearts, revealing the inherent value we all possess and empowering us to uplift one another. Let us not be fooled by the facade of superiority crafted by a society that thrives on division. Instead, let us redefine what it means to be educated. Let us embrace the profound truth that our worth is intrinsic and cannot be measured by external standards.